What's really good, BSers? Welcome back to our channel, Life with BS. I'm S, and I'm here by myself today because a couple of you have asked for a makeup tutorial. Who? Not a lot of you, just a couple. So don't all rush. Don't all rush to hit that like button right now, okay? If you want to, please be my guest. I know this video is a little out of our niche, but who the hell cares? Rules are meant for breaking. I'm gonna share with you guys my go-to makeup. This is this is my full-on glam makeup, but no special occasion, just like everyday glam. If you wanna see my everyday no makeup look where I use like four products, <laughs> then I can do that one day in a different video if you're interested, but this is full glam, what I use, my staples, my go to makeup routine. Don't forget to subscribe. We have tons of pranks, challenges, fun content, vlogs, couple stuff, family stuff, silly stuff. We got everything in store for you guys in the weeks to come, the months to come, the forever to come, all right? We committed to this and we want our BS fam to grow. Subscribe to this channel right now. If y'all with the blue Click the subscribe button. I will see you guys in the voiceover so that I can be precise and let you all know what I'm using and what I'm doing so I don't mess up or forget anything. <laughs> Here we go, let's zoom on in. Always remember to moisturize your face. I have already done so, but then I'm also gonna use this Lumi Glotion by L'Oreal because I'm all about the glow life. That is my favorite part of makeup. These are my Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Sunlight. You'll be seeing a lot of these drops because I'm obsessed. They're a little on the expensive side, but this bottle will last forever, so it's worth it to me. When I use these drops, along with any other type of highlighting product, I do a C shape from my upper cheekbone to my forehead around my eye and the tip of my nose, upper lip, and chin. This is my go-to primer. It's the Professional Primer by Benefit, but you're gonna see here that I ran out. And instead, using the e.l.f. Putty Primer, I wanted to try this primer so bad because it literally broke the internet when it came out, but it's not really my cup of tea. I had no issues with it, but I wear primer for the sole reason of minimizing my pores, and I'm definitely going to stick to the Benefit Primer. Now you can see that I'm going to go in with the Benefit Brow Styler. I'm in shade Neutral Blonde and I'm just outlining the shape of my eyebrows. When I do my brows, I always extend this tailpiece straight and out versus if you were to come down with it, I feel like it makes your eye look a little more small and closed. I like to bring them farther out for a more open look. Bringing them out instead also gives you a little more space to work with when you're ready to go in and do your eyeshadow. So the other end of this brow styler is the powder portion and I use that to fill in and then we comb them out. The next step for brows is totally optional. I only do this on certain occasions but I take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair along with a small angled brush, and I carve my brows. You basically just take the concealer and outline the work you've done to clean it up and make them look more tidied up. After that, I bring the concealer down on my eyelids, and I go in with my setting powder. I use the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade Fair and we set our eyelids with it. Time for foundation. Here's my favorite, y'all. It's the IT Cosmetics CC Cream in the shade Light. Take my Beauty Blender and I spray it with the LA Girl Shimmer Spray. It's a type of setting spray. I use it to wet my sponge and put on my foundation. And yes, there is shimmer in it, as if I couldn't get enough of the glow products as it is. This foundation, you guys, is my favorite. I love it because of the finish. It just feels really moisturizing. It also smells really good. And I know it says CC cream, but I mean, it applies 
like a full coverage foundation to me. Here I am putting it on my ears. I don't know if that's weird. I don't know if you guys do this, but I always blend my foundation onto my ears and down my neck. Then we take our same concealer from earlier, the Tarte Shape Tape, and I put two big huge triangles on my face. <laughs> and in a minute my camera's gonna cut off, but I also put the concealer on my nose, forehead, and chin, and then I blend it all in with the Beauty Blender. The next product you see is a Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Stick in the shade Toffee. I use it as my contour, as you can see. I line my cheekbones, my upper forehead, around the hairline, and I do a line around my jaw, and then down the middle of my neck. I'm going back in with my same setting powder directly under the eye, because that's an area that I usually will start to crease, so I'm doing that first. I don't know what you call these kinds of brushes, but I absolutely love it for blending my contour and for when I put on those Cover FX drops. Oh, and P.S. If you're waiting to see me contour my nose, it's not going to happen. I don't know how. We are just blending in everything. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can never do too much blending. I also put it down under my chin because one time a long time ago, I don't know where or from who, but I learned that it helps minimize the appearance of a double chin. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in shade Sunkissed and it's absolutely amazing. It smells like vacation. It is a bomb.com bronzer. Whenever you go in with a wet formula on your face, you should always set it with something that is a dry formula. So I am setting my contour that I just did previously as you'll see, I go all over the same spots again, including the double chin. We're back again with the double chin. At this point, I usually like to take a big, clean, fluffy, soft brush and blend everything in again. Blending is your friend. Earlier I set the small portion directly under my eye just so I wouldn't crease down there because I know I'm prone to that but now I'm actually going to set the rest of my concealer just by taking a small amount of powder and dabbing it into the areas on my face that I use the concealer on. And yes, they're back. I used these in the very beginning under my foundation and we're using them again on top of the foundation. I like the glow to shine through the bottom and top, baby, okay? This is the C shape I was talking about. You hit that area, the tip of the nose, upper lip, and a tiny bit on the chin again I mean if you take one thing from this video it's that these drops are the shit and ooh, yay this is another one of my favorite products guys it's called eye bright liner by pixie it is a nude color eyeliner I use it all of the time to brighten up my under eye and feel more awake the Wet n Wild blushes are my favorite. They're color icon blushes. They're only $3. How can you beat that? This color is Nudist Society. My usual go-to fave is called Keep It Peachy, but this one's pretty too. So we do a little cheesy smile and hit the apples of our cheeks, drag it up and out. And then I do my infamous windshield wiper motion. I do this because if you were to go outside and get sun kissed naturally from the sun, this is the area that it would hit. Here's another optional part I only do on special occasions. I take the setting powder and just define the contour a little bit for a more chiseled and defined look. So now that we're done with the face, for the most part, I move on to the eyes. I am not much of an eyeshadow girl. My go-to is to continue with my peachy bronzed look. I actually go in with bronzer on my eyeshadow. You can use any bronzer you want. This is the Morphe bronzer in the shade Enemy. It's a little deeper than the one I was using before. You can see I'm 
using windshield wiper motions to blend the eyeshadow into the crease of my eye and then I drag it out to the sides like I did previously with the tail of my eyebrows. Next for the eyelids, you can go in with any eyeshadow you want. That is a light beige, almost white color. Mine is from the James Charles palette. It's a shimmery light beige-ish color and it just makes the eyes pop more when you put your lashes on. Here is one of my favorite setting sprays. It's the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I love it because of the continuous mist that you get versus a squirt spray nozzle that is more common in other products. The continuous mist is where it's at because you won't get a big glob on your face. I wanted to show you guys this highlighter. It's the Master Chrome Highlighter by Maybelline. It is a drugstore product that's affordable that performs like a high-end product. I love that highlighter, but mine's all yucky. So today we're going in with my second favorite, which is the Ofra highlighter in the shade Rodeo Drive. And you guys get it by now. I mean, it's the C shape again around the eye. We hit the nose, the upper lip, and the chin. What is this, round three of the highlight? And make sure you go in with the highlight after the setting spray because then it sticks to that wet texture really well and it looks bomb. With the same Ofra highlighter, I'm finishing off my eyes by highlighting the arch of my brow here and dragging it down the tail. And now it's time for lashes, but look who woke up. My girl wants to do makeup with us. I'm about to apply the glue to my lashes and then let that sit and get sticky and tacky while I apply my mascara. This is the Maybelline Lash Discovery Mascara. I love it so much because of the small spoolie. It's very tiny and it doesn't clump and it allows me to get my tiny lashes. It works really well for getting the bottom lashes too. I use the eyelash curler before I apply the mascara to the top and bottom lashes. On goes the lashes now. These are Lily Lashes Miami. They're the most drastic pair I have. They're kind of on the expensive side, but I have learned that you can get a lot of uses out of them. To clean them after I reuse them, I use makeup remover and tweezers and I just pick the glue off and I can get many uses out of them. We thought it was gone, but the highlighter's back. I'm putting some in the corner of my eyes for a little pop. Last but not least, it's time for lips. And I don't really have a staple lip product or a go-to. I just do whatever I'm feeling that day. I'm going in with this Kylie Lip Kit Liner in the shade Moon, and then I'm going to use this NYX Soft Matte Light Pinkish Nude Color, and because that's matte, I will go over top in the center with a Morphe Lip Gloss in the shade Groupie. Voila! We did it! We're done! Alright you guys, this is the final makeup look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that I was able to share some tips or tricks or products that you might find beneficial, that you might fall in love with. That's the goal. Lord knows I'm not a professional makeup artist. I'm just an everyday person and this is what I, this is my go-to. Like the face, everything I did on the face, obviously I'm not going to wear these crazy eyelashes all the time and I might do a different color eyeshadow depending on the function but otherwise this is my go-to glam if I'm getting ready if I'm going out if I'm doing anything fun besides working this is my my play face let me know in the comments below if you try anything or you have a similar fave product as me oh I also forgot usually the last thing I do after I'm done everything is go back with this nude eye brightener and clean it up just in case any mascara or eyeshadow fell down there so it's bright and popping and that is it you guys Woo! thank you so much for watching to get a post notification shout out in any of our videos at the very end we always shout out our fam so make sure you hit the bell to turn your post notifications on ding, so that you can get notified when we post going forward follow us on our instagram living life with bs check out our tiktok too living life with bs and then comment done or 
hashtag post notification squad so love and we show love back to you guys we love you so much if your life is a little bit like ours and mine and my family's and consists of a little bull please hit that subscribe button and ride along on this journey with us love today's post notification shout out goes to julie kusina I hope I'm saying that right, girl. Shout out to you. Thank you so much for being a part of the BS fam. We really appreciate it. And also, she is one of the people who asked about my makeup and the products I use. And I never replied because I felt, and I felt bad, but I knew I was going to do this video. So shout out to you, girl. Um, Like I said, this is full glam, but the secret to my skin looking healthy and glow is not my skin. It's this stuff. This makes it glow. I use this when I'm not wearing any makeup either. I just do the same thing and put it on all the prominent spots of your face that you want to glow. And it's my go-to. It's not my skin. It's that stuff. Anyway, shout out to you. Thank you so much. We love you.